so I want to do a tutorial because it's been forever um, and I'm obsessed with New Jersey Housewives I hope you guys are too because that's what this look is um, featured around and I will insert a picture either before this introduction or after or somewhere um, but Melissa Gorga love her love her and I feel like where has she been in the history of New Jersey Housewives but I love her and the last episode she had the most amazing makeup and I was just like I have to recreate that um, so basically it is just a gold I hope you guys can see it like a gold um, glitter lid um, kind of neutraled out with a neutral cheek which of course is not coming off as dark as it really is um, in person because of the lighting and a very pink lip so if you want to see how I did it then just keep watching okay guys what I already did is I just primed my eye with the one and only soft ochre by Mac so I just put that all over my lid to use as my primer the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to lay down another base and we're going to be use Maybelline Color Tattoo in Bold Gold. Any brush to apply that. I like to use a paint type brush, flat. And then we're just going to apply that all over our lids. After you apply that gold base, you're going to want to set it with a shadow. Any gold shadow will do, but I'm using my Naked Palette, original Naked Palette, and we're going into this color right here called Half Baked. I'm going to use just a regular shader brush. This is an E55 by Sigma, and we're just going to pat it on our lids. We're going to be doing a little bit more to our lid, but we're going to come back to that. So we're going to now blend out our crease and we're going to be using the colors Naked and Buck, these two matte colors, into our crease. So let's start with Naked and we're just going to put that right into our crease. Now we're going to use Buck and just make it a little darker. Melissa has her crease pretty dark, but I'm not going to make it super dark. And you can do this however you like, but I'm just going to darken up the crease with a matte brown. And I'm using Dark Brown by NYX. Any very small crease brush will do. This is e.l.f. And we're just going to darken up that outer corner. You could use Mystery by MAC or any dark brown like I said and you can even like add any other dark color to deepen this out. But I'm just going to stick with this. Now I'm just going to take any blending brush. I'm just going to use my E40 by Sigma and just blend all that out. Now we're going to add a highlight shade. I'm going to go back into uh, my Naked palette using Virgin. Um, Melissa's is definitely very prominent. She has darker skin tone than I do, so um, you might want to use a matte, a matte like white color like Brulee by Wet n Wild or something like that. But I'm just going to stick with Virgin because it's similar to what she has going on. And just stamp out underneath of your brow bone or on your brow bone. Okay, so we're just going to go back into the lid now. Um, I would, it's just kind of dull, so before we add the glitter, I just want to like sparkle it up as much as I can. So I'm just going to add this pigment by MAC. I don't know what the color is, unfortunately. This was gifted by um, Trisha Pro Makeup Artist. I will link her channel below. She's awesome. Go check her out. But I'm just going to add this pigment, and what I'm going to do to add the pigment is take my MAC Fix Plus and spray that onto my brush a little bit. Just get it wet, a little bit damp. And then take your brush and just get a little bit of the pigment onto the brush. And again, this is optional. And then just going to pop that on the lid. Now before we start with our glitter, I'm just going to add a color, a highlight color to our inner corners. And I'm just using this color right here in the vanity palette. This is what it looks like over here. I don't know what it's called. And I'm just, it's like a very like light gold color. 
I feel like Rice Paper by MAC would be a really good choice for that. Now we're going to add our glitter. Now you could use a glitter, a loose glitter and a glitter glue, but I am just going to use my NYX um, Candy Glitter Liner and it looks like this. And we're just going to kind of just paint that onto the lid. It doesn't have to be perfect because it just doesn't. You just want to make sure that you have some glitter on your lid. Now I just want to line my bottom lash line. Hers is very dramatic. She has pretty very dramatic liner, but I really don't care for doing my waterline because especially when I have to go somewhere, it just collects in the inner corner and drives me nuts. So I'm just for the sake of time and what I have to do after this, I'm just going to um, use this palette. This is the Greed palette by Wet n Wild and this just matte black. You can use any matte black. Just using a smudger brush, my favorite one from Rite Aid. Now we're gonna line our upper lash line. I didn't do a very big wing over here, so you can go do that, and I'm gonna do that off camera, and I will be right back. Liner applied, I just used my e.l.f. liquid liner, and I'm about to add some lashes. So this is the completed look, guys. So I really hope that you enjoyed it. Let me just tell you a little bit I did with the rest of my face. I contoured with my very favorite Chocolate Soleil Too Faced Bronzer. Um, for blush, I actually mix a couple things. I use Max Margin that looks like this, and it is just like a neutral peachy shimmery color. I wanted to go for like a glowy look, um, and you will see in Melissa's picture somewhere, she's definitely darker than me. I don't claim to look like her or anything like that, but her make she's beautiful and her makeup just looked amazing. Um, I also added a little bit of Modern Mandarin or you can use Cinnamon by NYX, just like a corally orange color. And then I just used a shimmery bronzer and this is so old I don't even know if they make this anymore. This is in Tanfastic Bronzer by CoverGirl. Basically you, any bronzer that has shimmer in it that is kind of very not super muddy. So I just like blended all these together to make like a very neutral cheek. And of course I highlighted with my one and only MAC uh, Whisper of Guilt Extra Dimension Screen Finish. Screen Finish? Extra Dimension Skin Finish. Um, so I used that. And for my lips, um, I used one of my favorites. Um, it's a Cream Sheen MAC Speed Dial. It's a very like bubblegum pink. Not super Barbie-ish, but bubblegum. And then this cream sheen that I forgot about, this is in Right Image, and it's another bubblegum pink. So you can neutral out this lip, or you can do whatever you want, but that's kind of what Melissa did. And as you have seen, or will see in the picture, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave comments and like this video if you do. Um, I really had a lot of fun with this, but it's the middle of the day and I'm about to go work out, so gotta take this stuff off. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!